Here at home, a local teacher is shaking up the learning process by taking her students old school. Back to the days before those fancy gadgets and artificial intelligence did a lot of the work for us. Our Paula Tutman sits in on an advanced algebra class over in Troy and found out this is about more than math. I think most people would agree that we live in an age of a lot of social anxiety, even social inadequacy. And a lot of it has to do with devices and technology. Uh, students can go through almost an entire day and their eyes are peeled on this or their phone. What I'd really like to see is that you're in your seat right now working on the warm up. In terms of technology, this is Fred Flintstone prehistoric kind of stuff. Well, this is age old. This is like slates and chalk in a one room schoolhouse in terms of the technology that's happening right now. Good job. Go ahead and do B up at the board. The kids are all working on their own individual things, but it's better than the slates because they can be working up with everybody else and talking to each other. Which example are we on? We're on four. Four. And you might say, okay, big deal. Kids writing on whiteboards. So what? Except that in the day of the smart board and the tablet and the laptop and the cell phone, you're more likely to see this than this. Because you have all these electronics, you really, like, everything is in front of you. Anshul says most of his learning is online and micro-singularly focused on the device and himself. But in Mrs. Smith's math classes, he's exposed, forced away from his devices and out of just himself. If you do everything uh, online, then then it's like you're mostly disclosed in an area and like you're not really engaging. Jen Smith and her husband installed side by side by side by side panels over the summer, mostly with materials from a hardware store just to take learning away from software and literally back into the hands of students at Bolin Park Middle School in the Troy School District. Seven, eight, that makes eight. Oh, I got it. I got it. Four and three, four and three, four and three. It's not that technology is being shunned, it's just that the lost art of communicating and collaborating is being taught along with binomials. I've really become more confident in talking in front of people and things like that. I joined the forensics team, so it's been, yeah, it's been awesome. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Wow, what an impressive program. Thanks for sharing that with us, Paula. Mrs. Smith says the other bonus with this kind of visual can't hide learning. She is able to see if her students are actually getting the lesson or just coasting along.